So, as we look a little bit closer, how, is, how do we go about getting the body alkaline? How do we go about getting at the, the ionic minerals that it actually has to have? Well, in our case, we use ionic coral minerals or sea minerals. And it can come in two or uh, three forms. You can see on this on the left-hand side over here, we've got a powdered form. The form that I like the best comes in sachets that we can put in water. Okay? And then we have a pill form. So as we take a look at this, when we start putting these ionic organic coral minerals in the body, some interesting things begin to happen. First of all, our body is electric. Ask any Eastern medicine, our avodic person, any acupuncturist, any massage therapist, they will tell you our body is electric. We have circulation of electricity around the body. We have pools of electrical conduits in there, meridians for instance. And if we don't get enough ionic minerals in there, then the, the body electric is going to discharge. I likened it to our storage battery in our car. It discharges, and as it discharges, our health becomes worse and worse. So that is one of the main things we have to look at. So as I said before, we're now looking at ionic organic coral minerals. There are actually 72 perfectly balanced organic minerals in our mineral complex. Now, what happens is, is that this is, this is not a rock, this is organic. Ionic means that it has an electrical charge, like the calcium in our body, the minerals in our body, uh, the potassium, it all has a positive or a negative electrical charge to it. Inorganic or elemental minerals, like those in the rocks and in 90% of the uh, supplements that you can buy across the counter, do not have an electrical charge. And in fact, they can build up in the body when you take too many of them. And in the case of calcium, this causes bone spurs and kidney stones and gall stones and a whole raft of other stuff. Okay? But ionic minerals cannot build up in the body and create problems. The body will use what it needs and actually pass the rest of it out. In fact, when you start taking the ionic minerals, it will help break down some of those buildups like the kidney stones and help to flush them out of the body. Well, the coral gets these ionic minerals just like all of the other plants that are in the world. The elemental minerals make up a lot of our soil and there's a lot of it in the ocean. So, the plants and the coral take the ionic minerals out of the ocean or the, uh, or the soil. And then through photosynthesis, it changes it into ionic organic minerals and it stores it in its skeleton. Now what we do is we harvest the skeleton and put it through a very neat production level so that when you take it, you get all of the benefits from it. When we use the water form, the sachet form, and actually put it in water, like I have in my own little water supply here, it actually changes the water. And this is extremely important because we're made of 70% water. Okay, let's take a look at what happens to it. First of all, let's look at a glass of water. In a glass of water, and I'm not looking at any of the other stuff that's in there. I'm not looking at the bad stuff at all. I'm looking at what happens with H2O hydrogen and oxygen and the way that it works. Now if you look at my little form up here, you'll see that uh, in any glass of water, the H and the O combine in a whole bunch of different ways. Free hydrogen, free oxygen, an HO, which is a hydroxyl ion, okay? and then H2O, which is a water molecule. Now if you look at this side over here, when water molecules begin to form together, an interesting thing takes place. They form in a group. It's either a six-sided, eight-sided, or a five-sided group of molecules. I refer to the five-sided group of molecules as inert water. It can't do anything. It goes in your cells and helps you know, keep your, uh, your fishbowl clean but it, it can't carry oxygen, it, it can't do minerals, it can't, or, uh, nutrients, it can't do any of that stuff. It's just there. It just absorbs the heat that keeps your body at 98.6. However, the eight and six, mostly the six-sided molecules, I refer to as biological water because biological water is what can transfer all of the nutrients 
It can take all of the uh, excess uh, metabolism waste out of the body. It's the workhorse. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of this six-sided wa biological water in us because of the type of water we have to take in. It's mostly five-sided, especially if there's anything in it, like we put in our, our tap water. So the body has to change this into biological, and it takes a while, and it takes energy. So what could we do about it? Well, quite frankly, when we add ionic organic calcium to the mixture, then we have a form that takes this. See the calcium in the center? And the way that the water molecules are on the outside? Okay? This makes it an electrically charged form of molecule. And this is what we allow to, to, to work throughout the body and do all of the, the uh, exchanges and that need to be there with the nutrients and the uh, metabolic waste. You can see a picture of it here. <laughs> so you can see how it works. That's a real picture. There's the diagram of it. So that's what we want to take into our body when we have a good water. Okay? There's another thing that we have to take a look at, and this is called ORP. When we take a reading of it, we want the ORP value to be in the negatives. Distilled water, for instance, is about 130 plus when we take its ORP. What big deal is this? I mean, who, who really cares about it? Well, the lower the negative number is, the more free radical fighting antioxidants are released into whatever it happens to be. In this case, it's, it's a glass of water. Okay? We know that free radicals cause damage to the cells. Most people feel that they also, that free radicals cause cancer. A lot of evidence is pointing in that direction. We need antioxidants, and we're not getting enough in the food that we have today. So when we look at uh, this ORP value, here's the way that it sets up in kind of a, a form so you can see what happens. Normal tap water is between 200 and 600, positive. Can't help you. In fact, you're not getting any antioxidants, just again, five-sided molecule water can't help you much. And you can see how it, it goes on down. Notice where bottled water is, by the way. Did you know that 88% of all bottled water is nothing more than purified tap water? So, all right, then we get down into the negative numbers. Notice how this kind of correlates with the acid alkaline balance we've been talking about. Wheat grass, green drinks. Okay, now we're getting into the raw fruits and vegetables. Notice that it's dropping into the negative numbers now. And then finally we get into the ionic coral minerals. Negative 260, 275. This is powerful. This is unheard of. It means that when we put the, uh, uh, the sachets of the, uh, of the coral into the water, then it is going to release trillions of free radical phytic antioxidants. Uh, All right. There's another one that's fun to work with. Okay, this is called Ohm's, Dines, and Hertz. Now, I know that I'm getting into the, the scientific side of it, but hang in there. Hang in there and you'll see why I'm, I am actually doing it. When I take a look at the surface of water, we consider that it has about 73 dynes to it. I'm going to show you a picture in the next one, so keep this in, in mind. When we put the sachet, the ionic coral minerals, into water, it lowers those dynes down to 17, 20, someplace in there. We have changed the surface tension of water. Now let me give you an example. If I were to leave this room, okay, there's a lot less resistance, a lot less tension if I walked out through an open door than if I tried to walk through a wall. There's a lot of resistance in that wall. In your body, as the metabolic uh, waste builds up, you create more and more resistance in the walls of the cells and you can't make these uh, exchanges of nutrients and metabolic waste. So when we change the dynes of the ohms or the hertz of the water, we change the surface tension. Now the, the upper level here just shows you how water molecules can bind together to create the tension, but look at our little bug. Some of you have seen this. Look at the base of its feet. See how the, the water is kind of indenting there? Okay, That's surface tension or resistance. Now. As, again, as that resistance builds up in the body, it creates detrimental effects. The more acid that's in the body, 
the higher the resistance becomes.